I'm Katie Barrett at the Wall Street Journal. The last few months have seen a lot of small tablets. It started in September with Amazon's Kindle Fire HD, and then Apple followed in October with its iPad Mini, and now the Barnes & Noble Nook HD is available. This is a new 7-inch tablet that comes from Barnes & Noble, and it stands out because it has the best screen of all three smart small tablets. It allows people to do different things than what the other company's tablets let you do. For example, you can start multiple accounts on one device. So if you have six different family members, all six family members can set up their device and have their own content, like mom's mystery novels or her kids' games and apps. Those can all be separate. Or if a family chooses, they can share content. For example, uh, mom and dad might want to be reading the same book at the same time, so they purchase it once and can share it over two different accounts. Uh, also, Barnes & Noble has introduced Nook Video. This is a way for people to download or rent uh, movies and TV shows. And I tested this and it worked just fine. And the prices were pretty comparable to what Amazon and iTunes offer in most cases. You can also look at catalogs and magazines now using your Nook HD. And there's a cool new feature called Scrapbook. This allows you to use the two finger swipe down from any page in a magazine or catalog and it will virtually tear out a page so you can save it for looking at later. If you want to share your scrapbooks with other users who borrow your device and have accounts set up, you can do that. So if I started a home decorating scrapbook and I wanted my husband to see it or to add to it, he could look at that scrapbook from within his account. But there are some negatives to this new Nook HD. For example, I opened up the browser and I had trouble playing different videos in WSJ.com's website and the New York Times website. Uh, Barnes & Noble said this was a bug that they would be fixing in coming months. And I also at one point saw an error that popped up that was an Android error. The whole uh, operating system here from Barnes & Noble runs on Android's operating system under the covers, but no one should really see anything from Android. So that was really an odd quirk that I found. And there aren't that many apps available for the Nook HD. There are 10,000 apps, and that's compared to Amazon's 35,000 apps for the Kindle Fire HD and some 275,000 apps available for the iPad mini. And finally, it has a plastic-like frame, which gives it more of a cheap feel compared to the sturdy, strong iPad mini and Amazon Kindle Fire HD. But for $199, this Nook HD is a pretty good buy, and it does a lot of different tablet tasks well. I'm Katie Barrett at the Wall Street Journal.